This video is a continuation in our series on the spinal cord, and this video will cover our posterior column pathways. So our posterior column pathways are those pathways whose axons are going to travel in our posterior column. So we've got a mirror right and left of what's going on in our spinal cord. But then you can see that our posterior column pathway can be further subdivided into our fasciculus gracilis and our fasciculus cuneatus. These uh, don't have any functional difference except that our sensory fibers are going to originate in our mid thoracic and lower portions of the body with our gracile fasciculus. And in our fasciculus cuneatus or our cuneate fasciculus, we are going to originate in our upper body. Those are the only differences that we need to know between those two tracks. Otherwise, they really follow the same pattern. So these guys down here in this box give us our modalities. A modality is a type of sensory information being carried. So our modalities are fine touch and pressure, vibration, and proprioception. Fine touch is a very specific type of touch. That means that you can tell what is touching you. You have very good um, discerning capabilities. Vibration and pressure are just a type of tactile sense and then proprioception proprioception is the knowledge of body position so in a previous video I asked you to close your eyes and point to the big toe on your left foot and you were able to do that because you knew where the parts of your body are located. You know this because of proprioceptors. So our first order neuron is going to be located in the areas that discern fine touch, pressure, vibration, and proprioception. And so our first order neuron, the cell body is going to be located in our dorsal root ganglion. This first order neuron is going to come into our spinal cord and travel all the way up to the medulla oblongata before it synapses to our second order neuron. So our second order neuron cell body is in our medulla oblongata. Then that second order neuron is going to decussate, meaning that its axon travels to the other side of the spinal cord and then our second order neuron is going to ascend to the thalamus. In the thalamus, our second order neuron synapses to a third order neuron, which then carries that information to our somatosensory cortex. So at our somatosensory cortex, our body is going to be able to tell where exactly did that stimulus occur. And in this picture, that stimulus is occurring on our pinky finger, somewhere on our pinky finger, okay? So we are receiving fine touch, pressure, vibration, and proprioception from our pinky finger. So there is our posterior column pathway. The things that you need to focus on are the modalities and where we're decussating, so we're crossing, our second order neuron crosses in our medulla oblongata, and then our final destination is our somatosensory cortex. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.